Good day, viewers. Walter here. It's a fine Saturday morning. We're going to work on the boat a little bit today. Most of you know I've been rebuilding the carburetors on my boat. I just wanted to make a few comments. Any of you that are mechanics have noticed one thing about what I've been doing on these carburetors. And that is that I didn't replace any of the gaskets and kits in them. I used the same old gaskets. Uh, I'm not naive enough to think that none of them are going to leak. There's a good chance some of them are going to leak. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go ahead and order a few carburetor kits. But what we're going to do is finish cleaning these three here before we actually get around to starting this motor. We're going to put some fuel pressure on it and look around it real good for any kind of fuel leak before we even attempt to start it. My object today is to pull these three carburetors here. I might get Contrary Mary out here helping me a little bit. Anyway, I've learned, I'm learning a lot about these carburetors as we go. But many of you have probably asked, why I didn't do the carburetor kits to start with. And I'll be honest with you, here at this house, money is a big consideration. If I can get away without it, spending them big bucks, I ain't, I'm, I'll do it. I've already spent enough on this boat. Between me and James, we've been putting a lot into this boat. But money is a main consideration. A lot of you will say, just go out and buy a new motor. A new motor costs you $13,000. New carburetors would cost you over a thousand, so. We do the best we can. The kits cost 20 something dollars a piece. We got six carburetors on there. I paid some ridiculous price for a little plastic fitting on here. But we make a progress and we're doing the best we can. Stick with us folks, we're gonna rebuild some carburetors. Alright, with Contrary Marriage's help, I have pulled off these three carburetors. A lot more room to work with all them wires and hoses in the way. I wanna go ahead and clean these three jets right here. And see what's in that hole right there but I'm going to clean it first through the needle valve because that's what I did over there where these weren't cleaned down then I'll know basically however this looks it's the way those look okay this idle screw and needle valve or whatever it is is a pointed needle valve that sits on a seat to be properly adjusted in a carburetor those needle valves are turned out the exact amount of turns to make the perfect size gap for the gas to go through. But you've got to take it out to clean it. So how do you get it back to the way it is right now? You close it, counting how many turns it takes to close it. One half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five. Five and a quarter. Those on the other side were six and a quarter. One quarter. One half, one quarter. One half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six. So we're basically just in just about the right place now. Not exact, but it's close. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. So 
See that pointed little needle valve right there? That's what plugs up that orifice or jet in there. Them holes cleaned out yet or not? Pretty well clean those jets out like I did the other side. But on the other side I didn't take these out. So I'm gonna pop this off since it's away from this fuel line more fuel rail where I can get to it. And just see if it's clean in there. I'm hoping it is. Why would I hope it is? Because I don't want to have to take them back off. That is good. It is clean. I'm not even going to worry about the rest of them. Less chance of leaking if I don't take it apart anymore. Okay, when I squirted in that jet, I squirted right there. Oh yeah, anything that was in them holes pretty well washed out through the vent. And I can see those open nice and clear. And just like that, Walter's put all three carburetors back on, cleaned them and put them back on today. cleaned all six carburetors on this motor and there's a good chance like I've already mentioned that I'm gonna have some gas leaks if I do I'll have to buy some carburetor kits I got my fingers crossed that it won't leak well, we won't know until I put some fuel pressure on it but I've been standing on my feet here two or three hours today and I'm getting tired I'm gonna put my cover back on 